Dear friends, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we will go through mock interview questions which one can expect while interviewing for the role a Active Directory Administrator or Windows Admin. So let's begin. What is Active Directory? Active Directory AD, is Microsoft's directory service used to store, organize, and manage objects like users, computers, and resources in a Windows domain environment. It provides authentication, authorization, and centralized management. Now let's go through set of interview questions with sample answers. First one, what are the main components of Active Directory? Response, domain, logical group of objects, users, computers, groups. Three, hierarchical arrangement of multiple domains. Forest, collection of one or more trees with a common schema and global catalog. Organizational units, OUs. Logical containers for delegation and GPO application. Domain controllers, DCs, servers that host ADDS. Moving to next one. What are FSMO roles? Response. There are five FSMO roles. Schema master. Domain naming master. RID master. PDC emulator. Infrastructure master. These ensure consistency across AD domains and forests. Moving on. What is a global catalog, GC? Response. The global catalog is a distributed data repository that stores a searchable partial replica of all objects in the forest. It helps in logon authentication and forest-wide searches. Next, what is the difference between LDAP and Kerberos in AD? Response. LDAP, used for querying and modifying directory services. Kerberos, Default Authentication Protocol in AD, providing secure ticket-based authentication. Moving further, what is the difference between a domain, tree, and forest? Response. Domain, logical group of objects sharing a database. Tree, a set of one or more domains in a hierarchical structure. Forest, the top-level structure containing multiple trees with a shared schema. Next, what are group policies in AD? Possible response. Group policy objects, GPOs, are settings applied to users and computers for security, software deployment, and configuration management. They ensure centralized control. Moving to next one. Scenario, a GPO is not applying to a user. How do you troubleshoot? Response. Run GP update slash force. Use GP result slash R to check applied policies. Verify OU linkage and security filtering. Check AD replication and syswall health. Review event viewer logs. Moving on. What is the difference between security groups and distribution groups? Response. Security groups used to assign permissions to resources. Distribution groups used only for email distribution in exchange. Next. What is in RODC and when would you use it? Response could be. A read-only domain controller, RODC, hosts a read-only copy of the AD database. It's used in branch offices with limited security and unreliable connectivity to protect sensitive credentials. Moving on, how does AD replication work? Response, AD uses multi-master replication across DCs. Replication is managed by sites and site links. Critical data is stored in ntds.death and replicated via the Knowledge Consistency Checker, KCC. Next, scenario, a user was removed from a group but still has access to resources. Why? Response, token caching, the Kerberos ticket still holds old permissions, requires log of logon. Replication delay, group change not replicated to all DCs. Nested groups or explicit permissions. User may have permissions through another group. Moving on. What are AD sites and services? Response. AD sites and services represent the physical topology of a network. They help optimize replication traffic and ensure clients authenticate to the nearest DC. Next one. What is the difference between forest trust and external trust? Response. Forest trust between two forests, transitive, external trust, between a domain in one forest 
and a domain in another forest. Non-transitive. Moving to next one. Scenario. DNS misconfiguration is causing AD login failures. How do you fix it? Possible response. Ensure clients use internal AD DNS servers. Verify underscore msdcs dot domain dot com SRV records. Restart net login service to re-register records. Run IP config slash register DNS and DCDUG slash test DNS. Next, how do you perform an authoritative restore in AD? Response. Boot DC into directory services restore mode DSRM. Restore AD database from backup. Use NTDisutil to mark objects as authoritative. Replication pushes restored objects to other DCs. Moving on. What is Kerberos delegation? Response. Delegation allows a service to use a user's credentials to access another service, example, web app accessing SQL server on user's behalf. Types. Unconstrained. Constrained. Resource-based constrained delegation, RBCD. Jumping to next one. What is Active Directory Federation Services? ADFS Response ADFS provides single sign-on, SSO, across organizational boundaries using claims-based authentication. It allows secure access to applications outside the AD forest. Next, what is the protected users group in AD? Possible response The protected users group enforces restrictions on members, example, no cached logins, no delegation, stronger authentication requirements. It helps secure privileged accounts. Next one. How do you secure Active Directory in a large enterprise? Response. Implement MFA and conditional access. Use tiered admin model and POS. Monitor with CM. Example, Microsoft Sentinel. Regularly patch DCs. Clean up stale accounts and GPOs. Enable AD auditing and alerts for privilege escalation. Thank you for watching. See you again on another video.